All right, these are some uh, continuations of example problems using VSPR, valence shell electron pair repulsion, and uh, some codes in order to determine the uh, best geometry of these molecules. So to do that, we're going to do A's, B's, and E's. The central atom is O, uh, so that's A. We're going to count the number of bonds that come off of it. One, two, so B, subscript two, and then that's going to be E, electron pairs. One, two, electron pairs, only on the central atom. Then I need to look up on my resource what AB2E2 is called. AB2E2 is called bent. It's part of the tetrahedral electron geometry using sp3 hybridization. So this is called bent. Now as far as polarity goes, because my central atom is not 100% surrounded by electrons, uh, at this point we can say no. Um, this is non-polar. That's my first question. Uh, I need to go to a, an additional question. And then do these geometries cancel out? Since this is bent like this, my two bond angles don't cancel each other out. So this is going to be a polar molecule. Okay, moving to another sheet. Uh, so since this is uh, just two atoms, you can't do a central atom for geometry, but we can talk about polarity. Since this is uh, the exact same atom bonded to itself, this bond itself is nonpolar covalent, which makes this a uh, nonpolar molecule. Next molecule, central atom, is the carbon, so that's A. Then how many bonds are attached to it? A single, a single, a double. I just described three bonds, so that's AB3. And there aren't any lone pairs. So on my resource, AB3 is called trigonal planar. Uh, trigonal is going to be because there's the three angles coming off of it, planar because it's going to be flat. Now, does this thing have uh, polarity to it? And uh, the first question is, is carbon 100% surrounded by the exact same atom? And I have hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. So the answer to that's no. This is likely polar. And if you look a little deeper into this, oxygen is quite electronegative. So electrons are flowing from carbon to oxygen. And then carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen. So electrons flow from hydrogen to carbon. This is your negative side. This is your positive side of the molecule. So this is polar. Next molecule, central atom is the P, so that's A. How many bonds? One, two, three. How many lone pairs? There's a lone pair right there, so I can just write down E. I don't need to write the subscript if the subscript is one. Polarity is phosphorus 100% surrounded by the exact same atom. So hydrogen, 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 lone pair, which means it's not 100% surrounded, which makes this likely polar. And if you look at this closer, AB3E, I forgot to look that up. AB3E is called trigonal pyramidal. And what that means is that the electrons are going to uh, not get pulled evenly and they won't cancel out, making this a polar molecule. Those vectors will not cancel out. Moving forward. <laughs> NO3 minus 1, A or N, three bonds, a double, a single, a single, no lone pairs, so AB3 is called trigonal planar, sometimes abbreviated triplanar. Is the central atom 100% surrounded by the exact same item? And the answer to that is yes, only oxygen, which would make this nonpolar. CO3, very similar molecule, AB3, which makes it triplanar. And since it's triplanar, um, and it's the exact same thing as up here, where it's 100% surrounded, carbon's 100% surrounded by only oxygen, no lone pairs, this is also going to be nonpolar. Bottom atom, uh, B is your central atom. 
how many bonds? One, two, three, four bonds, AB4. If you look up AB4, it's called tetrahedral. Since boron is 100% surrounded by F, there are no lone pairs attached directly to boron. That makes this nonpolar. Even though the boron fluorine bonds are polar, the uh, polarity of those bonds cancels each other out. The net dipole moments cancel each other out because the vectors add together to zero. HCN, carbon is my central atom. So this is A, how many bonds? A single, a triple, there's two bonds, no lone pairs. If you look up AB2, it's called linear. A linear molecule has the opportunity for this dipole to cancel this dipole because they're 180 degrees from each other. The vectors could cancel each other out. Um, since my atom isn't surrounded by the exact same thing, my second question is, well, will these electronegativities cancel out? Turns out nitrogen's more electronegative than carbon, so electrons flow this way. That's one vector. And then hydrogen is less electronegative than carbon, so electrons flow, flow this way. What that does is it makes this side of the molecule positive, this side negative. So this is a polar molecule. AB3, three single bonds, one lone pair on the top of chlorine, which makes this tripyramidal. I just forgot how to spell that. M-I-D-A-L. And then since chlorine has a lone pair of electrons on it, this is likely going to be polar. Um, even though oxygen is the other atom, these vectors will add together, making this a polar molecule. Finally, uh, CH2F, we have a central atom, A. For bonds, there's four on the carbon. That makes it AB4, which is tetrahedral. Tetrahedral um, is completely surrounded by atoms, but we have fluorine atoms and we have hydrogen atoms, which have different electronegativities, creating different dipoles. So in this case, the electrons flow from the hydrogens into the fluorines. This will be the negative side of the molecule. This is the positive side of the molecule. So this is indeed polar. I hope that helps.